Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tutorial in Practical Sheets. Today, I'm going to share with you a, some tips of the sequence function. Basically, we're going to create sequence of numbers, but with different variations. I've already done this in a couple of videos in the channel with Google Apps Script, with the sequence formula, but today I'm going to do five or six different cases for advanced uses of sequence. So very quickly, I'm going to tell you what is sequence about and what you can do with it. So let's type here a bit more zoom. So I'm going to do equal sequence and I'm going to enter any number, 10. And I close it and that's it. So sequence is a type of formula called array formula or, or matrix-like formula. These are formulas or functions that even though you just put in a cell just the single formula, it will output the results in much more cells. Uh, being uh, columns or being rows or a mix of both. Okay, so this is an array formula. So for the uninitiated, if you see this, you think that someone has typed it, but we intermediate users know that it was the result of a, an array formula or a matrix type formula. If you try to write something here, it will damage the results of the formula because it's not allowing the formula to um, overwrite the data or to enlarge until the cells it needs to, okay? So this is sequence. You can put any number, a hundred, a thousand, so you very quickly can create a sequence of number of the numbers you like, okay? If you mix this with another function, then you have a very, very powerful formula. For example, if you want, let's do this, go back here. If I want to count or to do a sequence like a serial number for all of these items, then I could replace this instead of a thousand by 13. And then I have a, a sequence or a, or a consecutive number for each of these items. However, what happens if I change this? If I add new numbers, add new letters, add new rows, so then I will have to change this to 16 manually. So how do we do that this adapts it dynamically here we can put formula a function in this case we can use the count a function and we're going to count the elements in this column if i hit enter then here i have 16 but if i add new element automatically it will go down to 17 and if i delete all of this then it go automatically to 10. so this is really nice and this is just one of the examples where we could change what we had here as a fixed number 10 150 for a formula or a function where it can dynamically change okay this is the first thing i wanted to tell you that i have already told you in some past videos so uh, let's go back to our 10 and we can do some changes here for example we can put a second argument and the second argument is the number of columns. If I put here another 10, then I have a 10 by 10 matrix or, or a square, you know? So it starts here one to 10, then 11 to 20. So actually I'm having a hundred numbers. First 10, then another 10. If I only want the row, then I just leave this as one and I can have my 10 or 20 or 100 numbers, but in a row, okay? Uh, but if I want it the other way, as I did, I can leave the 100 here and leave this as one. And it'll be the same as removing this one. I think it's a good practice to always leave this one uh, because you know that you always can have the option of the column, okay? This is the second argument. Then you can have two other arguments. The first argument is when do you want to start? For example, you don't always want to start in one. For example, you want to start in zero, or you want to start in minus five, or you want to start in 50, okay? You can do it. So let's change this, that we are going to go 10 numbers, only one column, and starting on 50. So we'll go from 50 up to 59. And the final thing I can do, in my sequence out of the box is that I could change the number of steps. This means that I don't want to count adding one, 50, 51, 52, 53, but maybe I want to add two or three or five. For example, I want to go five plus each time. So here I have it, 50, 55, 60, 65, up until 95, okay? So this is what I can do with the sequence formula right out of the box. But the real, 
magic or the real power of sequence is when we mix it with array formula. I already showed you how we can use here the count a function as an example, but we can do much, much more than that. For example, let's say I want to do some references, reference one, reference two, reference three, so that the number is at the beginning or at the end of a string of text. For example, I want to start in one until 10, but saying ref one, ref two, ref three, up until ref 10. So we already know how to do this for the numbers, sequence, let's say 10. And one way to do it is uh, with the concatenate function. So I could do ref in quotation marks, and then I put this ampersand symbol and use this, and then I can out of field and that's it. Okay. This is a thing I can do, but I don't like it that much because when I change the sequence to 11 or to 9 or to 15, then I would have to, to drag down the formula manually, okay? One way of doing this, of changing this, is to adding an array formula. And if you are familiar with this term, it's a way of converting a function into an array-like function. Remember that the sequence is an array-like function or a matrix-like function. So we could transform almost any formula to a matrix type function using the array formula. How do we do it? For example, we use this. We need to tell it until what row do I want to go. Let's say here is until 15. So I will say D15. I'll hit enter. Nothing will happen. I will delete this because I want this formula to go down up to 15. I'm going to stand here, click or type Control Shift Enter and then it automatically wraps it up in an array formula. I hit enter again, and now I have this. And if I, for example, do sequence 10, here I have some problems because I will have to change this to D10. So maybe there's a way of joining these two in one, so I don't have to have two different columns. So what I could do here is to put the reference outside the sequence and see what happens. I will do ref and then ampersand and sequence and it doesn't work. Why? Because I'm mixing two different type of functions. Remember that sequence is a matrix type function but ref is a text, a simple text. So I could do the ref inside an array formula so that everything is nicely wrapped up and I'm mixing apples with apples or oranges with oranges. We're talking about matrix functions combining with matrix functions. So I'm going to stand here again and control shift enter what no it doesn't work so i need to manually wrap it up in an array formula i'll open up the parentheses close it up and apparently it works really nice and if i change this to 20 it works really really well so it looks really nice and we could do it with a text before or a text after so i could say ref and maybe then and another text and say ref, um, I don't know, 2023, 20, whatever. Okay, so you and uh, we could put some dashes here. So you could put your sequence before a text, between a text, or after a text. Okay, so this is the first thing we can do, but there are much, much more things we can do. For example, all of them taking advantage of the array formula that I've told you. Another thing we can do is, for example, to do some decimal points. Some people have asked me how to do, uh, instead of one to 10, maybe 0.1 up to 0.9. If I do, if I do sequence and say up to 10, but I want to put it in decimal, I could divide this by 10, for example. Again, it won't work because the same case as this, I'm mixing an array type or a matrix type function with a simple or flat function. So if I do Ctrl Shift Enter, then Enter again, it will work for 10 or even for 100. I could do decimals from 0.1 to 100, or I could divide by 100 and I could say 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. So I could do a lot of things of different alternatives. What else? We could also do, for example, someone has asked me if they want to do this first, second, third, fourth, 
if and so on okay so we could do uh, the same we did here and let's put th for example so i'm going to say index sequence sorry sequence for now let's say 10 and after that i'm going to put a th almost all numbers and with th so and i do ctrl shift enter and then enter and i delete this one and i have this it doesn't work right well because for example this is first no one th so i could mix this with a vlookup that works also well in my array formula so i could say vlookup i could have here some numbers actually i could have them all in another sheet on in my same sheet i could have one two three four five and i could say here that is first second third fourth and i think all of the rest are th at the end let's see 7th 8th 9th 10th 11th then you could do your your exceptions for example uh, 21 is 21st and all that we could do it in different ways maybe in more elegant ways 20th 28th 21st 22nd 23rd and then it is the same actually we could do it in a different way because only when it ends in one in is st when it ends in two is nd when it ends in three is rd and the rest are th it's it's difficult to find out a rule but for now let's leave it like this up until 30. and what we could do here once we have this table it will work all the time so you only have to do it once and then here instead of putting th you will put vlookup and we are going to vlook up this same sequence and we're going to vlook up here in column two and ending in zero that's it and it works perfectly okay and if i go sequence up to 20 it doesn't work well because i also need to change it here okay now it works good okay it's just an example of things you could do Finally, before going, I want to do two other things. The first one is I want to do a kind of a cycle. So I want to do, for example, this one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and four, four, four. Okay. So how can we do this? There are a number of ways we can do it. Let's start with a sequence of 12 numbers. Okay. And now what I want to do is to divide this number by for example three if you're going to repeat it three times let's divide it by three but remember that you need to do a control shift enter okay and what we could do is round this up if you see these three if we round it up it will go to one if we round this three up it will go to two etc etc so if i do inside this sequence i say round up and then close it now i have my my cycle for whatever i want and what i could do is take this out up here and we could do for example we could say here is how many times do i want to re repeat the cycle so a uh, length of cycle in this case it will be three and the other one could be number of cycles so in this case is four so i could change this formula here changing this 3 for this length of cycle and changing this 12 for length of cycle times number of cycles so if i change this length of cycle to 2 it automatically changes if i say i want 6 cycles it changes to 6 okay this is the first variation i wanted to do the second variation i want is similar to this but i want to one cycle repeat itself multiple times it's like the inverse of this i want to do one two three one two three one two three one two three okay here i repeat the number as many times as the length of the cycle and repeat it the number of cycles i want here i want to do similar thing again let's start with our sequence of 12. let's delete this ctrl shift down and delete and now I'm going to do something similar, but I'm going to use a different 
function. So I'm going to use this mod, mod, mod function. This mod function divides sequence by something. In this case, let's divide it by three. But again, you know that I need to do Control Shift Enter and Enter again. So what does this do? It is similar to what I want. It repeats my uh, sequence various times because what module does or reminder, what it does is it divides by three and it gives me the reminder when you divide, for example, if you divide, if I divide one by three, the remainder is one. If I divide two by three, the remainder is one. If I remind three by three, the remainder is zero. Okay. So I just need to change this a bit. For this to work, I need the sequence to start in zero. So you already know how to do it. We could do comma one, that is one column. And here we could put comma zero. So it starts in zero. So now we have zero, one, two, zero, one, two, zero, one, two. Maybe I'm not the best to explain this module because I'm not that great at math, but in some programming languages, you use this for module. So maybe you've known it. So if you know basic middle school division, you'll understand what a reminder or a module is. Uh, I sometimes get confused. So here I'm just need to add one. I think that's it. So I have it one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now I can do something similar to this. I can say, what is the length of the cycle? In this case is one, two, three. In this case will be three. And the number of cycles again the same in my case r4 so here i'll change this for three and i'm going to change this for three times four again if i change this to four and i have one two three four one two three four and if i change this to five but only two cycles then i have one two five two times okay this could be useful if you're trying to do sequences that repeat itself cycles so i just gave you like six seven examples of how you can use sequence to do really really cool things and maybe you can invent even greater things because as you could the idea of the video is to show you that sequence apparently is a very simple function but actually it has a lot of potential mixing it up with array formulas and to do a lot of creative sequences Okay, so this is it. I hope you like it. And as always, if you like it, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel or even better, you can go or to my Patreon page or to practicalsheets.com where you'll find the templates of all my videos and uh, hopefully very soon some courses, exclusive courses of Google Sheets, Google Apps Script, Google Forms and much, much more. Thank you so much. See you next time.